Hi, and welcome to the first Hunter Hot Tips video. The purpose of these videos is to provide a short tutorial on a single aspect of one of Hunter's products. My name is Peter Madden. I am Hunter's technical support manager for the Pacific Rim. In today's video, we will look at how to update the ACC2's firmware. We will be going through the process as follows. 1. Where to find the firmware update. 2. How to download the firmware. 3. Saving the firmware to an SD card. 4. Loading the SD card into the ACC2 controller. And finally 5. Installing the firmware into the ACC2. Before starting, you will need the following items. An SD card. 8 gigabytes will be more than enough. It's not advisable to use a, a micro SD card and adapter as these sometimes don't work well in the ACC2. You'll finally need an SD card reader. So point number one, where to find the firmware. To find the firmware, you need to navigate to the Hunter website. The address is www.hunterindustries.com. Once there, locate controllers. You'll find this under Products. From there, navigate to the ACC2 page. You can choose either ACC2 or ACC2 decoder. It doesn't matter. The firmware is the same for both versions of the controller. Locate and click on the Documents tab. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and there is a section labelled Software Updates. There are two files. One is the instructions, the other is the firmware. So, downloading the software. Click on the firmware update and let the computer download this to your hard drive. You will see the progress of the download displayed at the bottom of the screen. Once the download is complete, the firmware needs to be saved to an SD card. Point 3. Saving the firmware to an SD card. Click on the small arrow that is to the right of the download and click on the Show in Folder. This will take you to the file location where the computer downloaded the firmware to. Double click on the file that was downloaded. You will see a list of files displayed. These are the firmware files. Click on the small checkbox at the top of the file list. This will select all the files in the list. With the mouse pointer hovering over the files, right click the mouse and select copy. Insert your SD card reader writer into the USB port of your computer. If a directory for the SD card does not open automatically, then locate the directory for the SD card. Paste all the files onto the SD card. They must not be stored in a directory. Now we're ready for the next stage. Power down the controller and insert the SD card into the ACC2 face pack. Replace the face pack and power up the controller. We're now ready to update the firmware. Using the multifunctional button, navigate to Advanced Features. From there, scroll down to Firmware Update. Note that the face pack version is listed at the top of the screen and the firmware versions available on the SD card are shown in the list below. If the firmware does not match what is on the SD card, there will be a red cross next to the out-of-date firmware. Press the soft key next to the Update window. The controller will now go through the update process. Each module will be updated in turn, with the face pack being the last item to update. A progress bar will indicate how the update is progressing. Once the update is complete, the controller will do a full reboot. After it is rebooted, 
navigate back to the firmware update screen and check that there are green ticks visible by every module installed. Your ACC2 is now up to date. Thank you for watching this Hunter Hot Tips video. Next time, until next time, goodbye.